open field. First move, computer two. Draw card. Begin duel. Computer two, mana charge. Computer one, draw card. Mana charge. Computer two. Round six card. kicks off. Well, it will Mana eventually. Charge. We're used to how this starts by now with set three, so... Next turn, Mana Computer charge. 2 will kick us off. Computer 2, draw card. What say you? Mana charge. Mana release. One cost. All that. Summon. For that. Okay. <laughs> Lab running Marauder. Not a set three creature, but... There isn't a pre-constructed deck, so I've made Draw these myself. Card. And I felt that you needed a bit of a computer to a helping Mana hand. Release. Summon. Slumber trap. Computer two, what do you have in your hand? Roving Penitentiary, Don's Double, a Spirit Fox, Dartwater Siren, Queen's Courier, and an Indigo Mimic. Ooh. Nice little selection. Computer two. Draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. Indigo and there is the Indigo Mimic. So, you can sacrifice it in a future turn to summon a non-ultra-rare creature onto that space for no cost. But that creature cannot attack that turn. Now comes Frost Guards for Computer 1, and they're going to deal the first bit of damage, going after the Cloud Runner Marauders. Marauders aren't going to like that. So take a hit back. All's fair is fair. Fair is fair. One damage each. Unlocked. Slightly stronger position for computer one. So at the moment it computer just has two. more health on the board. Seven versus Mana five. Mana release. Well, Computer 2 does Seven. have something advantage. Out comes a penitentiary. Computer one. Draw card. Penitentiary never does anything, it just sits Mana there. Charge. It will counter. But it's usually just a big health Seven. sponge. Comes Cloud Runner Shipmate, range creature. Computer two, draw card. Oh, well, we just seem to be clambering for all the spaces, and we're going to go straight into check now for Computer two. Summon. How come Shadow Diver? Gets a dodge attempt. Attack. Which will come useful in the next turn. Always hits the rear of its target, so plus one damage if the creature has a blind spot. Another death and down goes the shipmates. Mana charge. I was saying that that dodge attempt would help it now, because it's going to potentially help it from being killed, but it's also just revealed the one space next to the Mimic. So the Mimic is now vulnerable. Mana release. Nine mana in total, Summon. three spent here. Needs to kill. Out comes Elysia Prioress. She loses two health because she's a water creature summoned to fire. And it turns out the Mimic was going to die regardless. Because she's magic. 
Mana charge. Down goes the mimic. Computer two. Draw card. Computer two can summon back into check now. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. Out comes its own Illusion Pyrus. We're probably going to take okay. aim at the other one. <laughs> Bit of swift revenge. She, of course, lost two health because she was summoned to the opposite element, so she's only on one health. So that kills it. Mana charge. So, Computer 2 back into check. Computer 1 needs to kill. Computer 1. Draw card. Uh, you'd ideally like to go for the Shadow Diver, but it does have the dodge attempt. Fishers of Goli flip the elemental field to its opposite side. This water field becomes a wood field. So they're going to lose two health because they're no longer on water. Reduced to one. Are these skeleton archers by any chance? They are! It's the only thing I can think that was actually just ranged. Attack. Turns out I was right. For once. And down goes the Marauders. Mana charge. Computer two. Computer two still has some advantage though, so it can summon back and check for the third time. Mana release. Summon. Out comes a dark water siren. Third game in a row we've seen her. She is summoned to an opposite element, so she's immediately going to die. But it does mean she can pull a water creature on a water field to her space. Frost guards are pulled there. She so they lose two health because they're no longer stood on water, and two more because they're now stood on fire. Computer one, draw card. Mana charge. Amount of times I've seen that creature never used, and then suddenly in the past three games she's been used. <laughs> How come there's Juno Spirit Fox? Attack. Goes for the Prioress. Only one damage. She won't counter because she's magic. If a... Computer two. Enemy all. creature dies n that is adjacent to that Spirit Fox, you'll have to discard the top card Release. of your deck as well. So it gets to basically kill two cards. How comes Queen's Courier? Draw two cards and then discard two. The actual stimulants and a set of frost guards are discarded. Ooh, the actual stimulants can be useful. But computer two in check, computer one's got to kill. Would go for the Queen's Couriers because it's the only thing you can really get to easily. Summon. Comes Claire Will the Valiant. Plus two health because she's water on water. Changes her attack. Attack. And she's going to be hitting these two for two damage each. She had to use the secondary attack because she was adjacent to two or more allied creatures. Mana charge. Mana charge. Library to graveyard. Oh, she killed those. Graveyard. And a skeleton archer for Computer 2 has been discarded because the Dartwood Siren died, which is adjacent to the Spirit Fox. So in technicality, you've killed three creatures there. 
Computer one in check. Computer two must kill. Summon. Sea Serpent! Attack is equal to 1 plus the number of other water creatures on the board. So, plus 2. Lost 2 health when it was summoned, because it summoned fire. First, just enough health to do a bit of weeding. Gets rid of the pesky slumber trap. Say pesky, it's not really done much. Just sat there and revealed a hand early in the game, that's it. Computer one. Draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Bit one summoning back into Summon. check. With its own roving penitentiary. Summoned to its home field, so plus two, you're not killing that anytime soon. Computer two. Back into Draw check, card. computer two must kill. Would go for Mana the charge. archers at the top. Mana release. Mana release. Rotate Shadow Diver and reactivates him. But he's going to be able to do this because he'll gain the plus one damage from the blind spot. Sweet dreams. Claire Will is now no longer adjacent to allies, so she goes back to her primary attack. Which is just to hit in front of her. So effectively she's now useless. Oh, my game just died. Oh, and we're back. Attack. <laughs> It's the way that I've got my console hooked up to my PC to record this. Sometimes the cable has a has a moment. <laughs> that was one of them. Anyway, what happened? We had some Berserker Witches come out and they attacked the Fox. Not enough to kill, but Computer 2 is in check. Computer 1 needs to kill. Would go for the Shadow Diver, but they have dodge, so you better make sure you actually do kill it. Double comes out. Claire Will now has two adjacent allies, so she's going to change her attack. His field is now acting as water. And he gains a load of attack, so they're very dead. Oof. Jesus. It's because while he's on the water field, Don's double's attack is equal to one plus the number of cards in your hand. You just take a cheeky damage from the Shadow Diver, who really didn't like that. <laughs> Mana charge. Who managed to survive with his dodge, I should add. Check. Computer two. Draw card. Mana so charge. check for computer one. Computer two is going to kill. Summon. Or says moving castle. That's not going to do anything. Check. It can't do anything. Draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. And computer one summons for the Summon. win. Dark Lord Siren is just going to sit there and provide a spell shield. GG! Computer 1 wins.